Welcome to a quick tour of Google Book Search, brought to you by SummitUniversityPress.com. Let's say you're on the web and you want to find a book. Not only do you want to find a book, but you want to find information inside of a book. Typically, this causes you to have to go to the bookstore, go to a library, or borrow a book from someone else. Not now. Google Book Search gives you the ability to search inside books right from your desktop in your home. Let's say we wanted to find the Ascended Masters, and the Ascended Master Moria, and perhaps his retreat where his uh, focus is on the earth. We type this into the search dialog and we click search books. We're going to see a number of search returns come back, one of which happens to be the masters and their retreats, which is kind of an encyclopedic view of uh, the masters and all their retreats and interesting information about them. Let's click on this particular item and you'll see that it comes up and it gives you your highlighted search terms in yellow. So Ascended Master Retreat and then Moria. This looks a lot like a PDF and indeed you can move this up and down and look at the various pages where the search terms happen to be showing. You can also, and this is very handy, click on the contents drop down dialog which will show you not the contents of the book itself in order but the contents of the search term that you asked it for. For example, I might want to go to the Cave of Light on page 427 and see what it has for me there. This will load up and then I'm able to see here uh, the Cave of Light retreat of the Great Divine Directory in the Himalayas. This is a little small and maybe doesn't give me as much context as I want. So what I'll do is I'll go up here to these icons and I'll click on the two page purview which gives me two pages just like you have the book laid down on a desk in front of you. I can also uh, zoom this in a little bit by clicking on the magnifying glass icon which gives me a bigger view and I can continue to make the view larger and larger so that I can actually read this. I also can use this full screen option which gives me the ability to see it without all the extra pieces around the edges which allows me also to make it quite large and very readable on the actual screen. Remember I can always scroll up and down and I can go backwards in the book page by page or forwards in the book page by page or if I click on the full screen icon again I can go back and I can see the regular table of contents uh, I can do a number of things additionally including go and search inside this book for let's say Kuthumi's retreat and we'll find by clicking go a number of uh, hits here where it thinks that it has the retreats that we want to see let's go ahead and click on this Dwal Cool's retreat in Tibet, we actually end up in the index of the book and we'll have to make this a little bit bigger so that we can actually see it. Notice that the full text and, uh, is clickable inside the index. So for example, if I wanted to look again at the Cave of Symbols, I can simply click on that piece, go straight to the location in the book where the Cave of Symbols is mentioned and begin to read right from there. Now, when we've found the things that we want and we like a title, we have several different options. Your typical option would be to go get it at the store, but you can just simply go up and click on the buy link. The buy link is going to give us a list of all the places where you can actually get this particular book. You can see the price, you can see the seller rating, you can see the seller's name itself, and also you can find this in your local library. When I click on the Find in the Library icon, I'm going to go to the World Catalog. The World Catalog offers me a number of options, the best one of which is to be able to type in my particular zip code, 59027, and find in libraries in the general area. Depending upon where it finds these books, or it, the book is noted, it'll show you. So the closest one happens to be Boise, Idaho, but that's okay. I can go back up and I can request this book, and I can also ask that they ship it to my local library. So this concludes our view of Google Books and looking through and searching through the books and finding the things that you want and then making a decision if you want to buy the book or if you want to have that book sent to you to your local library. Thanks for watching. You can find this video and any others on the summituniversitypress.com site link there or on our YouTube channels. Thanks for watching.